Agent 47 and Diana Burnwood are the world's top assassins working for the ICA. Unknowingly, they have been hired by a shadow client to target a number of operatives of Providence, a secret organization working in the highest echelons of power. Providence's controller, the Constant, approaches Diana and makes her a deal. Eliminate the shadow client and learn about 47's past. But when 47 discovers that the shadow client is Lucas Gray, his lost childhood friend, he and Diana switch sides to fulfill an old pact. Destroy Providence. Together, they manage to capture the Constant, forcing him to reveal the identities of the three Providence partners. Eliminate them, and the war would be over. However, the Constant has an ace up his sleeve. Look closer. In the shadows. Behind the everyday world. Beyond the headlines and the seats of power. A hidden hand. A kind of company known as Providence. To it, we were just assets to use and throw away, to do the unthinkable, the unforgivable, and it never gave us a second thought until now. After decades in the shadows, we are fighting back. Me and 47. Much has been lost, but we are closer than ever. We trapped the Constant, Providence's chief controller, and finally learnt the names of its three partners. In their downfall, we lay the past to rest. And, just maybe, look towards the future. 37. It's time. Partners are down there. You know, I never planned this far ahead. You never do. I see someone got his memory back. Wait, is that a beacon? What the hell? Base. Alexa Carlisle's helicopter just took off. Confirm target locations, over. Diana, what's the status? Right. We have a situation. Carlisle has left the building. And I think I know why. The Constant has escaped. He persuaded one of the sailors into setting him free. And since then, he's been seizing control of Providence assets and resources. I can only assume Carlisle is rushing to contain the damage. If she slips away again... We'll keep track of her. Make sure she doesn't. Meanwhile, the plan stays the same. Your destination is the Scepter, the world's tallest building where the partners are laying low, courtesy of their host, Sheikh Omar al-Ghazali. Marcus Stuyvesant is fifth generation old money. His family made its fortune in real estate and banking and were at one point the chief landowners in New York. Carl Ingram is a powerful Washington kingmaker whose family grew rich selling gunpowder during the American Civil War and later established a globe-spanning empire in oil, coal, and steel. Both families long since retreated from public view, but their quiet dominance endures to this day. Now, the partners likely suspect that we're coming, so Mr. Gray will infiltrate building controls and disable all electronic doors and elevators. Stuyvesant and Ingram are about to find they have nowhere left to run. Right. 
This is our moment, 47. Providence ruined our lives with the flick of a pen. Today, we return the favor. Happy hunting. Welcome to Dubai, 47. Today is the inauguration of the scepter, and the ceremony is well underway. You will find Marcus Stuyvesant near the building's signature art installation. While a paranoid Carl Ingram has ensconced himself in his penthouse suite, security on highest alert. Mr. Gray is already in position and ready to assist. Good luck, 47. 47. Come in, 47. Do you copy? I'm here. Are you in position? I'm heading towards the point of entry. Good. Get back to me when you're there. Use your camera and scan the lock, will you? I think I can override the window's controls from here. is taking place close by. Once you've infiltrated it, get your bearings. I'm sure there must be floor plans somewhere. Understood. We need absolute focus on this one. If Ingram and Stuyvesant are alerted to our presence, we may lose them for good. We are so close, 47. Don't worry. They're not going anywhere. I want to talk to the partners directly, make them understand why all of this is happening. And that terminal gives me an idea. There's a server room near the Sheikh's personal reception. If you can gain access to it, we might be able to recover useful intel from it. We'll have to work together to hack the system, but it's our best shot. 
It looks like the staff area could provide you with a viable route to the server room. There's quite a bit of security here. One moment. You ready for some more fresh air, 47? Out of my way, waiter. Probably still down in the deep. Excuse me! What are you doing here? Sir, you will need to follow me. Please Excuse comply me. and come along. As my replacement guard turned We're up all yet, clear, sir. sir. You enjoy the rest of your day. I'm just waiting for him to turn up. Good. Remember to check his papers before you call me. I don't want some snot-nosed newbie. Of course, sir. We'll let you know. Just get him up here. I'll make a personal complaint to His Royal Highness. And you... Right there. That's Marcus Stuyvesant, Providence partner, sir. So Stolt and arrogant little worm. He might not look like much, but he's done more damage to the world than you could dream.
talked besides the exhibition, but I think she is kind of slow. Maybe you can help? Uh, I don't know. I don't try. Sun. It's not as bright as it should be. Do you know why? Proud of my Cornelia. To think she could pull all this off. We're thinking she had lost me. It's all very pretty. I like the delicious. Really? This is fascinating. I would never have guessed Lucy Phillips' work could achieve this scale. She might be annoying as hell, but she is very talented. Yes, sir. It's magnificent. Okay, let's move on. you.
Marcus. You were keeping yourself out of trouble. Trying to keep a low profile. So, have you talked to your daughter? That's none of your business. Everything here is mine. Ah, hi there. You are my guest. Do you know that Carl is wondering why you are down here? Carl is not my keeper. You better keep your mouth shut. He can't know I contacted her. Don't worry, Marcus. Your secret is safe with me. Carl knows nothing. And I hope you will. Get out. That Rangan guy. Never asked me to work for him. Never calls me. Put in my time. Good today, sir. Hello, sir. Christ, Cornelia is not alone. Okay, you see that woman yakking away in there? We need you to get rid of her. Normally, I would say by any means necessary, but alas, she is one of the stars of the inauguration. So I would like you to lure her away from the other young lady I need to talk to. Understood? Good. God, oh, that irritating moment, I believe. What's the update on my new guard? My current one has been on duty for way too long. I need security that's sharp and focused. Sir, we have word that he's arrived. He's waiting for him to turn up. Good. Remember to check his papers before you call me. I don't want some snot-nosed newbie. Of course, sir. We'll let you know. Just get him up here, or I'll make a personal complaint to His Royal Highness. You got him, 47. Marcus Stuyvesant won't be a problem anymore. Let's move on to Carl Ingram. We're not done yet.
anyone messing with them. Yes. Oh my god. Take your hands off them before it's too late. Hey, don't... Ah. Just a precaution. I've been personally invited by the Royal Highness Omar Al Ghazali. I should have clearance. The name is Zayna Kazi. Sir, I understand. You can't enter without being searched. It's standard procedure. This is ridiculous. Well, that's how it is. Think about it and come back if you want. I'll be waiting upstairs in the reception. Understood. It was a big waste of time. Crystal Dawn won't be happy. <coughs> Excuse me, but can you please extinguish that cigarette? You are flowing <coughs> cancer directly into my body. It's a smoke area if you don't like it, Crystal. Jesus, just ask me, Crystal. You're really rich now. Go away and binge eat some celery or whatever it is like you do. Or do something worse than like cancer. God, what is your problem? Huh? <coughs> you are sick. You have no idea. Oh, cool. Hey there. Hey there. All right there. Sir, I will have to pat you down if you want to come through. Security measures.
Excuse me, sir. I think you dropped that. Listen, sir, there's no drama. I just need to check your pockets if you want to pass. Okay, thank you, sir. This, uh, this will be over in no time. Thank you. Oh, Mr. Kazim. I'm glad you changed your mind. Arrogance can be a dangerous trait. Yes, indeed, it can. Mr. Ingram has been expecting you. We have a conference room set up for you. Hello, sir. Please, go in and make yourself comfortable. Mr. Ingram will Dr. be with you shortly. Thank you. Hey, bud. Please make yourself comfortable. I'll get straight to the point. I have a, well, let's call it a dispute, which the Royal Highness tells me you're very capable of taking care of. Now, I've worked with your organization before, in Morocco, I believe, so I'm a little hesitant. Don't be. We do what's needed. Well, only time will tell. I have two assignments for you. Take care of the first one, and then we can discuss the bigger fish. Now, on to the first. An acute problem has been brought to my attention. Keep talking. I'll be candid with you. No one is supposed to know that I'm here. However, there's a journalist down at the inauguration, and he's asking rather intrusive questions about who's staying up here, and that is a very dangerous problem for me. Now, I want you to silence this little pain. You think you can do that? It's what I do best. I like your bluntness. This is his file. Hans looked. Pulitzer-winning freelance journalist. He's good and won't give... up until he gets the answers he needs. And that can't happen. Consider it done. Good man. And remember, I want a picture. I want proof so I can sleep tonight. Of course. Once this little assignment is completed, come back and talk to Miss Toe. Then we can discuss the real cancer that needs to be removed. I'm sure you can see yourself out. That's Carl Ingram, Providence partner and brass balls billionaire. A legendary political fixer, Ingram is old money and as rotten as they come. Just keep calm.
Listen here, you're not allowed to be in here. We're all clear, sir. You enjoy the rest of your day. How you doing? Greetings, sir. Go ahead. Plenty of room. Excuse me. I was wondering if you could help me. Upstairs, that is the Royal Highness Omar Al Ghazali's private penthouse. Correct. Rumors he has some guests of some significance. Now, I understand he probably signed an NDA, but I'm Hello. able to make up for it with cold cash. I'm going to ask you politely to move along. I don't appreciate your line of questioning. Well, I was just curious, but thanks for your time. I was wondering if you could help me. And I promise there is something in it for you as well. I'm just curious. Do you know who the Royal Highness's guests are upstairs? I have info that there are two with very cryptic names. I'm sorry, sir. Even if I could help, that kind of information is beyond my pay grade. Would you like another drink? Okay, thanks. Excuse me, I was wondering if you could help me. Mr. Lund, I hear you're looking for information. Oh, really? Okay. You know what's happening upstairs? I know more than you could imagine. But we can't talk here. Follow me. Great. Lead the way. Hello, sir. This better be good. I have a reliable source that the Royal Highness Omar Al Ghazali is keeping a secret upstairs. You don't talk much, do you? Wait for me here. 
I'll be back as soon as possible. All right. Whatever it is, better be good. Yes, that's it. Now Ingram trusts you, it's like shooting fish in a barrel. Swanky place, huh? Oh, yeah. How are you today, sir? Fine today, sir. Mr. Kazim, welcome back. So, you have the picture? Yes, here. Good. Our guest will be delighted. Please follow me. He's waiting. Mr. Kazim, please, follow me. Hello, sir. Have you seen the view yet? It's quite spectacular. On a clear day, you get a wonderful view of the Arabian Desert. It's a sight to behold, the vastness of it. Back in China, this would never be possible, because of all the smog. about the incident earlier downstairs. Right this way, Mr. Kajim.
Mr. Ingram is expecting you. Mr. Cassie, so good to see you. Do you have the picture? Yes. Your problem is fixed. <laughs> Omar said you were good. Let's get down to the important business at hand. Okay, people, clear the room. I need to discuss some delicate business with Mr. Kazim. But That's right. We have Excuse Ingram right minute. where we want him. Yeah, I just remembered something. 47, you know what to do. Have a drink, see the view. It's something to behold. Seven. Soon there will be no more Providence. You need to find an exit. Our business is done here, but it's far from over. Oh, Mr. Kazan. Oh, oh. No more hands! Now for our target. I've tied him up, fellas. You cleared off. Engage! Engage! Our Royal Highness has never complained about it before. I'm sorry, but... Mr. Ingram. 